Hello, and welcome to the Million Dollar Speaker Podcast. Hi, I'm RV Robinson, and I'm the master speaker trainer, international speaker, and author of Speak Up, Get Clients, and your host for the Million Dollar Speaker Podcast podcast. This is a very unique podcast in where we talk about how you can become a million dollar speaker, reach millions of people, and make millions doing it. And today, we have a very special, special guest. She has been a friend of mine for years, and she is right in my field of speaking. So I'm so excited that she's here. Let me introduce her. Her name is Jackie Lappin. She is a leader in helping leaders, authors, coaches, and speakers connect with their next followers around the globe. She's an expert at aiding them to get booked. She provides strategies, guidance, and direct leads through her speaker tunity programs, tip sheets, and regional directories that get change makers booked on stages, radio shows, podcasts, virtual summits, TEDx events, and virtual networking across North America. Speaker Tunity is also a one is also a speaker one sheet graphic design service, booking systems, and training to fill up your speaking calendar. Speaker Tunity is the ultimate speaker's toolbox, and I am so thrilled to bring to the stage my dear friend, Jackie Lappin. All right, Jackie. Woo, welcome. I'm so happy to be here, RV. Thank you so yes. much. Yes, I am so happy you're here. I finally have a guest that we can really talk about speaking. <laughs> <laughs> and today we are going to talk about the art of getting booked everywhere. And I'm so excited about that. But Jackie, I know you have spoke on a lot of stages and you have helped a lot of speakers and you have watched a lot of speakers. You have sponsored events. You've been everywhere. So one of the first questions I like to ask my guests is what do you think makes a million dollar speaker? Well, I think the first thing is that they really know their niche and they know how to zero in on that niche. They're not trying to talk to everybody and wasting their energy. Secondly, they have a signature speech probably taught by somebody like RV <laughs> that they present beautifully. Um, and then they have a really powerful offer that it hits the sweet spot of the audience, something that solves a problem that they are craving to resolve. And if you have all of those things put together, you're a can't miss million dollar speaker. Beautiful. Great advice, especially on that signature talk. Have that niche. Speak to your niche. Have that signature talk ready. That is excellent. Excellent. And again, you've been around so long with the speakers and speaking. So tell us a little bit about speaker tunity and how you created it. Well, RV, for the last uh, 12 years, we've been also doing radio podcast tours from my company, Conscious Media Relations, where we offer people the 9,000 radio shows and podcasts at the same time wow. with a minimum guarantee of 30. Now, sometime back about six years ago, some of them kept saying, can you book me for speaking gigs? And I heard it enough that I said, no, I don't want to do that, but I know where they are. So why don't we just tell you? And that's how Speaker Tunity was born. And Speaker Tunity, the speaker and leader resource company, basically goes out and does all that research now so that the speaker doesn't have to, because I know how busy speakers are. I know how crazy it is to try to serve a clientele and fill your business and do all these other kinds of things and try to have to research where your leads are. So we decided to step in and do that. So we did that. And then people said to us, well, I don't know how to book myself. So then we started creating training programs on how people can book themselves. And then the last thing that happened was we realized that many of them needed speaker one sheets and podcast introductory sheets. And I had this great gal on my team who can do a, you know, a design. So we decided to start speaker tunity sheets. Every one of our products has its own little brand name and a fun little cute logo um, that identifies it as a speaker tunity product. And, um, and so that's the latest. And we 
just keep building. We keep literally adding Onum's a product a month because we want to be the place that speakers go, whether they're going to do the pitching themselves, whether they're going to have a virtual assistant do the pitching, whether they're going to hire somebody to do it for them, but who can shortcut the process of finding those leads. We're just going to have it all in one place. Um, and so, you know, I think, like you said in the introduction, we've gone ahead, we've cr created regional speaker lead directories, almost 75 of them so that people all out throughout US and Canada can find their leads instantly up to 2000 speaker leads in any one market, you know, I mean, especially and we've got it divided into four categories business uh, service groups. Uh, con consumer, where you're talking to the consumer directly and the spiritual centers, we wanted to cover the gamut so that when you're saying, okay, I need to talk to this audience and this audience and this audience, they're all in one place. So we've done that. And then we've gone and we created resources where you can get podcasts, either what we call life enhancing podcasts or business uh, B2B podcasts. We give you 40 of those a month. Um, we do, we give you virtual summits that you're, when, when you're looking for virtual summits, we give the, uh, that are looking for guest presenters and giveaways, looking for partners. Um, and we've even, and, and of course we've got a TEDx directory. So if you're looking for TEDx and you, and you don't want to have to search all over the, that website, we, we, we've given you, we've divided them by dates and by state and by province and what's gone virtual and what's live. So you can make some choices about where you want to pitch yourself. And the last thing is we realize that virtual Virtual networking was exploding everywhere. And so why not simply create a directory of virtual networking opportunities? So we did that and we've identified over 200 of them, about 50 of which are just for women. So, um, you know, and we continue to add new directories that will take you directly into the places where it's going to make a difference for you. I love it. And one thing I love just for everyone listening, love about speaker opportunities is you don't have to buy everything. You can buy whatever it is you need. So if you just want to buy podcast list directories, you can. If you want to just buy networking, you can, right? You don't have to buy everything and have stuff you don't need. Just buy what you need and you can add on. And then when you're ready for a speaker one sheet, you add that or a podcast one sheet. So I love that. Now, let me ask you, though. Jackie, where did you come up with the name Speaker Tunity? I love that name. It is so perfect, but there must be a story behind that. Well, it is, but I have to say it wasn't me. Um, if um, many folks know Jill Lublin and her husband, Steve, is a yes. brilliant web designer. I've had so, Jill on the show. Absolutely. And so Steve Lillo was uh, working with us at some time when I was building this. And it was his idea. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. He gifted it to me and we have been using it ever since. So the whole concept of speaker and opportunity together was too irresistible to pass up. So I give credit where credit is due. This is Steve Lillo's idea. I love it. I love it. Well, it's, you know, it's, it's great that it came, you know, where I think everything comes from God and it's channeled and he might use different people uh, to, to get it out there, but excellent. All right. So I know that, I mean, you have so many products and services and, but I also know you have always, you're cooking up something new. So what is upcoming? What is new for speaker tunity? Well, the two things, the two newest things, it's our uh, Speaker Tunity Radio Insider for Business, where I, you know, as I mentioned, we give you 40 different radio shows and podcasts in the business, the B2B space. If you want to reach that audience directly, we've identified them. And so it just makes it easy that you can really have an impact on that side of the business if you want those kinds of podcasts, radio shows, and video casts. Of course, so many of them have gone video. Even this podcast has gone video these days, so uh, on, on YouTube, et cetera. So um, that's one. But the other one that I'm really, really excited about is speaker tunity speaker specialties Ooh, and what's that <laughs> and what we've done is we've taken our data and we're going to be able to allow somebody to come in and just pick their niche all the meetings and venues and associations in their niche. It's kind of like we were talking at the beginning, knowing your niche. Let's say that you want to talk to women's business meetings all across the country. You're going to be able to get that entire list of contacts. Or um, that if you just want um, 
uh, for example, healthcare professionals or service groups or moms groups or parenting groups or whatever it might be, we've identified 60 different ones. And you can go to Speakertunity and click on Speakertunity Specialties, and it's going to take you there. And you're just going to see this amazing resource that is going to let you pick whatever that you want. Now, here's the thing. If you don't want the whole U.S. list or U.S. and Canada, I should say, because it's combined, you can also just pick your region. Region, East, West, Midwest, South, or Canada. So that's going to narrow it down. It's going to reduce the price and then it'll let just you let you focus in you know your area. But since everything's gone so virtual these days, yes, some of the meetings are returning to live in person, but most many of them are staying virtual. So this right. gives you the ability to speak anywhere at the country and not have to travel and still get your message out just in your specialty. Right. So that's that's what's new and what's exciting. I love it. So, so we're like talking in real high level right now about all your services. So let's come down a few floors and let's get into like somebody starting out, a speaker starting out, because what we're talking about, what we talk about on this podcast is not only how to be a million dollar speaker, but how to reach millions. And you are absolutely have the ticket for people to reach as many millions of people as they can. But it could seem overwhelming to some people. So let's walk us through it like, like let's just say, okay, uh, I'm a woman speaker and I want to um, reach just women's groups. Maybe I want to just reach women networking groups to be even more specific. Walk me through the process. What is it that I do? How much is it going to cost? Because what you offer sounds really expensive. And I know from experience, it isn't. You know, as expensive as it sounds, it probably should be, but it's not. It's affordable for speakers and it's affordable for them to buy multiple directories and multiple listings. So why don't you walk us through that? What do I do? I'm brand new. I don't know what to do. Just walk me through it. So um, the first thing I would do is get one of our training programs. Um, the one is called the art of filling your speaking calendar. It's only $197. Oh, good. What, and that's a webinar or what? what it's a that? six module speaking uh, training program. And so it's it, not I, training you how to speak, just no. how to fill your calendar. That's right. I just want to be clear. Yeah. Okay, Absolutely. I love that. I love that. It's going to teach you, for example, what you, what and how you put in your speaker one sheet, what to pull together for that. Okay. It's going good. to teach you what tools you need to have when you're pitching, you know, you know, the video and, uh, you know, and, and, and all of the details that need to go into that. It's going to show you how to write a pitch letter and what, you know, the proposal letter that you sent send to the, um, the, ex, the uh, booker that you're trying to pitch. It's going to tell you how to do the follow-up calls and how to track it to make sure that, you are saying the right things and how often you should be calling them. It's very detailed and really, really helpful. Um, so that's one. But if you don't want to sit through that whole six module program, we have a turnkey booking system that bas basically gives you a lot of these samples and templates and checklists and a short video at the top. And so for $299, you get all of this packaged up for you and then you can do it yourself. So either one of those options is to learn how to get booked to start the booking process. Now, then um, if you're really interested in just one specific niche all across the country than speaker to be specialties. Now, depending on how big the list is, like the women's business list is one of our biggest lists. Okay. So um, if you want to start inexpensively, I recommend that you get the regional list, which will probably be about, about uh, five or $600 just for that niche in, in that. Now, if you have a different niche, it might be a smaller list. It might be less money. Our list started, our directories and the specialty set, set, segment call, start at 195, depending on, you know, it's based on, on, on how many listings we have. So you have to go to the chart and it'll tell you what the size of the list is, and then you can get in. But if you just want to start locally, that's also a great thing because you may find, for example, let's say that you're, you speak to women. So you might find that you want the women's business um, the shows, I mean, uh, meetings in your marketplace. You also want the women's service groups. And so that's an, 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 oh, nothing. And then you also want, say, the moms groups or the parenting groups 
or and then you want the spiritual centers that where there's a lot of women so it allows you to pick all across it so let's just say that you get your own regional directory so you know you live in orange county california or, right no you're in no i'm uh, in upland <laughs> you're, oh, you're in upland you're okay so you would get we have a, a directory that's called east los angeles inland empire and the desert cities got it so that would be that, that would be mine yeah that would be your directory and you would get that directory for 479 dollars. now is it a one-time directory or is it a, a one-time sign up and then i get new updates every once in a while what well, is like one? both of that in a weird way you get the whole directory up front but you right. have a year's access so in six months if you want to go upload the direct download the directory again you're going to have new content and okay. here's here's our promise to everybody we know you're going to find things out of date it's the nature of the beast we, we're tracking 170,000 pieces of listings in our database so some of them are going to change and we're not going to know of it course, we don't have a crystal course. ball so our policy is if you find any out of date one to 150 whatever it is you send that to us tell us which out of date and we'll get you the new information love uh, it um, so that's good because people are out there working for you too helping you out and that's that's good that's absolutely fabulous it's a team effort so we, we consider that. it a relationship it's not relationship. here's your list and go away it's a relationship got it i got it okay now some of the other uh products that you have are on a monthly subscription mm -hmm. right so tell us a little bit about those so if you want to let me just say if you, you have to be a transformational leader to take advantage of speaker tunity speaker leads this is okay. only 35 dollars a month and it's going to give you um leads all over north america not necessarily just local to you Got um, it. but they're going to be business meetings they're going to be conferences they're going to be tedx's they're going to be spiritual centers they're going to be um, retreats and bookstores so it's everything in that genre. And um, and you get uh, about 120 of those every single month and it enables you and about and and in um and quarterly, you're gonna get a tiny roundup on a particular market. Instead of having 2,000 leads, you might have 40 for that particular market, but it gives you a great ability to archive different leads act on them now, archive them and go back to them at some points. Let's say you're going to a particular market, you go find out which ones are that market. But you can use them now that with everything going virtually, you can use them on a regular basis. So that's the least expensive, but it's really not for a business leader, it's for a transformational leader. The next one is Speaker Tunity Radio Insider, and that gives you um, 40 radio shows and podcasts that are life enhancing. There's somehow some aspect of improving one's life. It might be relationships. It might be, uh, you know, just how to live a better life, be a better mindset, um, uh, things like uh, 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 health and wellness and, um, uh, you know, anything, again, that improves your life. That, and so that's also $35. And then the other one um, is Speaker Tunity Summits that gives you the, the virtual summits that are looking for guest presenters and giveaways. So every month on the first day of the month, we send you a list of people we know are looking for participants in their summits. So we make it really easy. That's also $35 a month. Those are the really low cost programs. The other two inex uh, inexpensive programs um, the TEDx is only $99 and the virtual networking is only $99. So those are really easy ways to get in without spending a lot of money. Right. And, and yeah, I love that because you might want some speaker might want more than one list, right? So they like get a list, they like it, and then they want to add to the list. And so they can just keep going and, you know, buying more products. Now, let me, let me ask you that again, you, you know, you're a million dollar speaker. You've been all over the place speaking. You probably get these opportunities coming to you and go, that's what I'm going to take. That's what I'm going to want. But because you've been around so much, Jackie, what do you think, again, getting down to the million dollar speaker and, and, you know, the niche and, and all of that after that, when you see speakers on stage, whether it's virtual or not, what, do you love to see? What is it that like makes you excited about a particular speaker? Well, one, they have presentation skills. 
<laughs> they've learned how to speak. Yeah, number exactly. one. I mean, that would be my of, number one. Uh, yeah, uh, and I see a lot of people <laughs> on virtual events, and they are monotone, oh. and they're oh, you know, they're deadly. Um, deadly. So, <laughs> so you know, they've learned how to speak. Um, they are either giving away a free gift or an offer, but they've got they've got it down. They've nailed it. They they know how to make it appealing. They have, um, they know where they're taking people. In other words, it's not, uh, well, I kind of have this and that. I mean, they, they have a plan and, and they're, they're deliberately leading people into that program so that people feel, wow, this person knows what they're talking about. They've given me great value before they get to the sales pitch. And they're Um, persuasive. They're persuasive. And, but but they've also given me something that I can use, which makes me know, like, and trust them. Right. And then from that standpoint, once I've gotten that established feeling for them, when they make the offer, then I want to take advantage of it. Nice. Now, a lot of these opportunities that you offer in your list, because there's different kinds of speakers now. There are speakers that speak for free. There are speakers that pay to speak because they're probably newer in the marketplace. And then there's speakers that get paid. So your services, which area does it cover? Ours covers anybody who is selling from the stage, making a free offer from the stage. Okay. Um, That's really our sweet spot right now. Our intention is to have something that by the, by about the first of the year that will give people the opportunity to know about major events that they can then enroll themselves in that will pay them. So Right. Or um, corporations. But, There's corporations, colleges that are still out there paying for speakers, but that's a different kind of speaker. Right. You know, it, and people need to understand that there's different kinds of million dollar speakers. There's a million dollar speaker that gets paid. And I was interviewing a gentleman yesterday that uh, studied with Jim Rohn. And I said, how much was the most money that you had made from speaking? And it was in the millions. It was like $14 million, but not because it was a speaker fee, but because he knew how to sell. Right. And raised that kind of money. And he waived his speaker fee because he knew the speaker fee would only be 10,000, but he could make millions and he made $14 million on one speech. So Uh, that's huge. And we're not really for the speaker who makes a living as a speaker. We're for the speaker that has a business that they're trying to fill through speaking. Right. Amen to that. That, That's exactly what I teach. Yes. So, but again, you can, I want to be clear here. We can, as a speaker, people can make millions of dollars being a paid speaker. They can make millions of dollars and even more, more money being this trained speaker that steps on stage and sells their product and services. The speaker that is paying for the services, those are speakers that are either new or speakers that want to be in with a certain crowd. So for instance, I I paid a small amount of money to be on stage for Legend of the Masters. I think you were probably one of the speakers because I wanted to share the stage with Les Brown and Brian Tracy. It was worth it to me, even as a, as a seasoned professional speaker, to do that, to be on the stage with those iconic people. And now you've got bragging rights for the rest of your life. And now I have bragging rights and I can put them on my PowerPoint and all of that, you know, but so there's different reasons why people might want to pay. So that was my reason. So Jackie, what do you think another reason is that a a young budding speaker or even an experienced seasoned speaker like myself might want to pay for some of those opportunities coming their way? Well, if the audience is the exact right audience and it's big enough, the one of the problems today is a lot of people will tell you, well, I'm going to have 300 people at my event and 30 show up. So, you know, that's where the skepticism. But if you've got somebody that you know can guarantee a certain audience, for example, there's one woman that we both know who consistently draws 800 to her virtual events. Right, right. And if I you know want to be in front of that audience, it's worth paying for. And it's it is worth- not a cheap 
ticket. It is an expensive proposal, but the numbers that come out of that can be astronomical. So it has to be the right audience. You have to know that the person can produce that size of the audience and that you have the product and that you're one, you know what your sales rate is and that you have the product that is going to really be right for that audience. I mean, right. that's when you can afford to it, take the calculated risk. Right. To, and, uh, and again, invest. part of what we're talking about here, too, when we say paid to speak, we're talking about sponsorships. So we're not just talking about just the paid, but when you pay to speak, pay to be a speak, speaking sponsor, then you've got more visibility because you get to speak, but you've also have a virtual booth and people could come into your booth during the breaks and it makes it worthwhile. I always recommend to people when they're asked to, to speak, whether they're paying or not, may, because there's another thing that I like to do, which is stage swaps, right? But again, if you're going to do a million dollar stage swap, you got to have the right stages. And you're right. I've, I've been on two recently and people are like, I didn't pay for them, but people, they just wanted me to speak. And you know, I said, well, how many people are you going to have? And it's like 500. And now I do events all the time, virtual. And I know what it takes just to get 100 people in the room to be there the whole time. So I'm like, oh, really? How are you going to do that? Tell me more about that. Maybe I can learn a little something. Well, it ended up there were 19 people there, right? And another person said, and, and again, I'm only saying this for people to learn. And uh, recently I went to an event and it was six people. And it was promised to be 200 people. And so let's just, let, just let's say most of these people are not, they're not deliberately misleading. No, you. no, they no. They really think they're going to draw that. And yeah. this is a different climate and they may not have the skills and the, and the expertise to really, and the partners to make that happen. Well, people, right. And people, but people think more people are going to come to a virtual event because, and I'm, and and it's because people sign up more for a virtual event than a live event. Yeah. Right. They sign up more. But guess what? 60 percent don't show up. So I want to tell everybody when you are putting on events like this in the virtual world, just take that calculation and whoever signs up because these people might have had 200 people sign up. Right. But only 60 per 60 percent won't show up. And sometimes it's what what is your calculation? Sometimes I usually figure it's about 30 percent will show up. OK, 30 percent now will show up. So when you take that in consideration, that's what you want to do if you are thinking of paying for for an event. If you think of paying for an event, you need to ask the organizer what is their track record? How many people do they expect? And then do your own calculation and see if it's worth um, you know, the, the, the pain. Well, right? and there, and there, you know, you talked about stage swaps as well, Arvi. Yeah. I mean, there are other ways you can do barter, literally. Um, I love a lot barter. of times, um, I have worked with, uh, you know, a variety of different, somebody's inviting me right now to an event and they say, look, give us product in exchange for your speaker fee. And I'm going, that's doable. I don't mind doing that. So if you have something that they're going to want, you can trade, but don't, don't, rem don't forget a lot of times, you know, just because you have a great program doesn't mean that they're going to want to do it. Um, <laughs> right. But, it might not be what they want. Yeah. Find out what they want. And yeah, it might be yeah, it might, they want you to promote something for them. It might be that they want you to do, put them on your web podcast. I mean, there's lots of different things that you can leverage in, ex in exchange for, if not all of the fee, some of the fee. Right. I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. All right. So we talked about reaching millions and, and what are the characteristics? Let's talk a little bit more. And we just talked a little bit about the money, but let's talk about how people can really make and leverage. You talked about leverage. OK, so now let's say that's a paid event. They're they're paying, you know, ten thousand dollars for a sponsorship. And you have this experience, I know. So tell us, how do they best leverage the event? It's a, let's say it's an event of 800 people. You know, it's a well-qualified event. How do they leverage and make double or triple that $10,000 back? Well, the first thing is playful out. I love that. Playful out. Okay. So be there, you know, as much of the part time you can. 
Um, you know, if there's a booth involved, make sure you fill out all the things in your booth and make it attractive. Same thing in a physical room. Um, make sure that you, um, you know, obviously when you, you, you have a, a, you're ready and present for your presentation and be willing to answer questions if that's part of the opportunity. Um, you know, uh, be in your room when people are looking to talk to you, uh, make, a, you know, gift offers, whether that's from the stage, from your booth, uh, get people to opt in for whatever you've got. Um, I'm just trying to think and play, you know, and do your role to promote it. Obviously, one of the most important things about being a part of an event like this is to, it's, it's a collaborative event. When somebody asks you to be in their event, then you have to do your part to get people there. Um, so, you know, do all the mailings that that require. Um, and if you have, and if you have opportunities to um, share uh, uh, the, you know, some of the highlights from the event, uh, I'm not a social media person, but if you are a social media person, do the social media stuff so that um, more people see it, more people attend, and uh, they ask you back next time and think because they think you're fabulous. I love that. Now, I love playing full out. And I just want to reiterate that because that, especially in a virtual event, sometimes it, you know people are challenged a little bit, especially with time differences. And there's been so many times I've gone to sponsor rooms and they weren't there and they weren't open. So again, you've got to be there. Make sure you've prepared your food ahead of time or put it on your desk or whatever it takes, but you've got to have your rooms open at the, and I'm talking virtual events and you've got to be in your booth if it's a live event. And here's a way you could do it. Have, a, have somebody fill it. Right, Jackie? So you said, if you can't be there the whole time, get an assistant to be there. Get a colleague to be there. Get someone to be there and at least tell those people, what, you know, what is it that you need? And I'll have Jackie call you back or whatever. All right. So I got that. I love that. Playful out. Now, let me ask you the million dollar question here. What about follow up? Tell us about follow up and what we should be doing, because I'm sure a lot of your business came from your great follow-up. Thank you, thank you. Well, yes, um, and first of all, I keep a, a um, second screen right next to me so that as I'm meeting people in breakout rooms or they're querying me, they're going into my tracking document. I track every single person that I have ever met at a conference or online at a, at a, vert, a, a, a breakout room. And they're in my database and I grab their email and I make sure that if I want to talk to them and I don't have their email, I get it from them. Good idea. Um, and so, um, and then uh, the, those that I know that I have to have a conversation with, I write in yellow, the word connect means to, that's going to draw my eye directly to it. And then I, um, and then I, I send e emails, in fact, I have to send one today um, the, to follow up to say, hey, uh, here's my schedule link. Let's get together. I know you had some questions about this, or I'd like to, you know, tell you more or, you know, et cetera. Um, and by virtue of one, following up within two days, no longer, um, you can generate, you know, those kinds of meetings that will actually turn into business. I was on a breakout room yesterday where somebody turned around and instantly went and bought my product. Nice. Yeah. So, um, so, it, 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 so you really need to focus on the various different ways that you can um, uh, systematize your follow-up and make sure that it, not too much time passes by before you outreach to those folks. I love that. And that's so important. So when you're in the, especially virtual booths, when you're in the virtual booth, because I have not seen anybody do this to me when I have gone into the virtual booth. Um, and that is get my phone number and get my information. That is key. So as soon as someone comes into the booth, get their information, get their email address, get and then have that conversation with them because you might get other people coming into the room and interrupting you. So get it. I would say get it first. Right. Because each person's worth it millions right when I, when I do when i participate in virtual events a lot of times i will be happily taking the helm at the breakout room because then i have the ability to to, to pretty much force everybody to put their contact information into the chat box 
Okay, Some so a regular breakout. That. So a regular breakout room, also you're you're doing this to follow yeah. up. And then yeah. what? Saving the chat to make sure you have that contact well, information? If somebody needs to save the chat, that's great. I don't need to because I've already got them in my database. I've been got taking your information the whole time. Okay, got but it. Yes, change, now, save it if you need to do that. Are you putting it into your database or a spreadsheet? In a, in a spreadsheet. I and the spreadsheet, and then later you're putting in your database. I think that is a million dollar idea. And, uh, you know, we all heard that the fortune is in the follow up, but it's the follow up that people mess up on. It's the follow up that they don't do. I wonder if that's another product speaker Tunity can offer in the future speaker follow up. I think that would be worth a millions. Good idea. <laughs> I know who to partner with on that. <laughs> <laughs> and now we know where that idea came from. Well, awesome. I'll give you a little preview. We <laughs> are going to have a training program on how to get corporate bookings. Oh, good. Corporate look, for, look for that to come in the fall. I would be interested in that because corporate people pay and I've came from corporate. So it, uh, it would be a nice, nice fit. So good. Good for you. Well, Jackie, our time is almost up and I just want to make sure that we have time for our listeners to get your free gift that you're offering because I'm so excited about your free gift. So if you'll tell people a little bit about what it is to go and grab uh, and uh, where to get it. Well, you know, speakers need a speaker one sheet. But yes, the problem is, if they have never done one the, before, there's a whole lot of ways that you can mess this up. So I have this very cool program that's called Eight Ways to Sabotage Your Speaker One Sheet. <laughs> and all the ways that you can not do them. <laughs> so if you go to speakertunity.com forward slash sabotage, you're going to be able to get this great training. It doesn't take very long. It's just pretty short, but it's going to make it so easy for you to know the things to avoid when you're doing your speaker one sheet and things to do. That's important. Now, this is a webinar, right? It's a live. It's a, yeah, it's a, a little a recorded 30-minute 30, 30 webinar. Beautiful. Perfect. So it's easy for people to do. They can just put it on their computer and listen to it. And it's what, about an hour? No, it's less than that. It's about 30 minutes. Awesome. That's good. See, the less time, the better sometimes, but it's packed with great information. Beautiful. Now, Jackie, how does somebody get a hold of you if they, if they want more of your services, your products, your materials, your directories? How do they get a hold of you? Thank you. So if you're interested in any of the Speakertunity resources, just go to speakertunity.com. If you want to talk about radio podcast tours, go to consciousmediarelations.com. If you want to connect with me directly, here is my scheduling link, schedule.jackielappin.com. And um, I will be happy to have a meeting with you and talk to you more. But um, it's easy to reach me. Uh, if you want my email, it's jackie at speakertunity.com. That's easy. And or if you want to book Jackie to speak at your next event or sponsor your event. She always sponsors the Million Dollar Speaker Summit that I have annual event in September. So again, reach out to Jackie and uh, you'll be glad you did. All right. So last question. What is the last thoughts or brilliance that you want to leave our listeners with today? Booking doesn't happen in a vacuum. If you think to yourself, oh, I'm going to get to it sometime this week. It doesn't happen. You're going to get inundated with everything else in your life. You know, book, client services, marketing, everything, family. So you actually have to take three hours a week and schedule it, block it on your calendar as if you're making an appointment with the doctor, you know. This is your appointment with yourself so that you actually spend your time in booking the, the opportunities that you want to really be on. Because otherwise, you're going to turn around three months later and think, I, I, I didn't get any bookings. I didn't get any new clients. What happened? So if you commit to three hours a week, I guarantee you, you're going to have bookings and you're going to have new clients. Excellent advice. That's again, another million dollar idea. So thank you so much, Jackie. All right, everyone, that will do our show for today. Thank you again, Jackie, for being with us and sharing so much of your brilliance and all of your great ideas. This is woo, wow. 
So again, get a hold of Jackie at Jackie at speakertunity.com or go to the website speakertunity.com and make sure that you grab her free gift. So that's it, that's it for today. And we'll see you back here next week. Bye for now.